So we talked about what are the blockchain fee problems are, how difficult it is to pay fees, and how fee problems became a serious obstacle for users to use a blockchain based services. So FIFI is introduced by protocol to solve the fee problem. You can see this image and it explains how FIFI works. It tells you the process but you won't able to read it really uh, well because the image is small. If you're interested you could uh, take a look at our white paper and our, our white paper can be found in our official protocol website. Now here's the link. You can check our white paper anytime. But anyways, I will explain you about the detail in text, how FIFI works, and how could FIFI solve those fee problems that's happening. First is the app user pay the fee with the token without using pen token. Our pen token is our main token. This is a protocol's main token, like Ethereum's Ether. So you forget about buying Ether to exchange to buy Ether and send it to your personal wallet. Tells you not to buy pen token anymore to pay fees. You can just use your DApp token to pay fee. And pen holder deposit pen in FIFI. And FIFI is mainly uh, our inner exchange system. The app token paid as fee will be exchanged into pen through this exchange pool. That's how the fees are paid. And the allocated fees, which are the app tokens, will be uh, sent to FIFI participants as a reward. Now we have pen token that was exchanged from the app tokens, and those pen tokens will be rewarded to the node operators. So uh, you probably won't understand what I just said. So uh, let me explain you in more details step by step. So here's the key point. Protocon saves the fee problem by introducing FIFI. The very beginning, the Protocon Congress decides on the standard fee rate and discount rate. Let me explain what Congress is before I go to go on the steps. Uh, Congress is a governing body under which pen token holders are the main state. Pen is a protocol's main token, I, as I explained. Congress can be seen as an organization that can exercise important decision-making authority related to protocol governance. So this Congress, protocol Congress, decides and agrees on the standard fees and discount rates. Uh, like a consensus tools on determining these rates, like voting. So for example, in the uh, first half of 2022, and they decided the standard fee will be $0.01 and discount rate will be 50%. Now second, pen holders deposit pen in the FIFI. By doing that, this creates a pool of pen liquidity. So third, the app users pay fees in the app tokens without acquiring pen tokens to pay the fee. So at this point, the system refers to external pricing data like Oracle and requests uh, 0.01 app tokens to the app users as a fee. So for example, if the current price of the app token is one dollar, so we could consider paying additional 0.01 the app tokens as a fee. So DApp tokens can be paid for a fee and those paid fees will be exchanged to PEN in FIFI which is a protocol internal fee exchange. So FIFI is an internal fee exchange. So paid DApp tokens will be exchanged to PEN at FIFI. Okay? So in other words, exchange is made in FIFI but is same as PEN holders giving out the PEN and buying the app token at a discount rate. So, as I explained earlier, there's 50% discount rate now applied. That means uh, there's 50% uh, cheaper price to buy the app tokens. The exchange pen is paid to all node operators at a node operation rewards. 
the pen tokens which FIFI participants who are depositing FIFI will be used up a little by little because when the exchange are made, the app tokens are exchanged with pens and pens are used, right? To actually compensate for such losses, block rewards will be also distributed to pen depositors. So this way we can solve the various existing problems that the current blockchain fee has. So let's look at the effects of FIFI. Now standard fees are introduced so that they can they are not too expensive and they can be set on a reasonable price. So particle news uh, actually PVFT algorithms so they don't really use as much as computing resources as Bitcoin does. So it doesn't really cost much to operate the nodes in a uh, pr protocol. It allows us to maintain a fairly low level of commissions and standard fee system allows a stable fee criteria to be established. So I talked about the difficulty of payment in previous part but through FIFI you can pay fees with your own DF tokens right so without having to purchase the main token and uh, separately that's that's really takes away the whole burden right in addition there are more other effects of introducing fifi direct indicator of the revenue generated by blockchain is fee and almost all of the revenue is taken by the known operators but however fifi distributes this fee to the holders of the ma the mainnet tokens who participate in a protocol ecosystem so meaning that Node operators don't take all those benefits. The protocol participants, pen holders, will be shared the network profits. The sharing profit with the entire network participants. Fee participants really plays a really really important role in here, right? So fee five participants solve the problem of fees, which is the most difficult problem in uh, in blockchain, and as a return. They get share the profits earned from the fees. So FIFI participants will automatically gain DApp tokens since DApp tokens paid are exchanged with PEN and DApp tokens are stacked in the accounts of the participants FIFI. The more fee transactions are made, so that means the more DApp tokens are stacked in their account. And when there and there's a new DApp project in, in the protocol ecosystem, FIFI participants will be given a new DApp tokens. When the price of DApp tokens will rise, one of the DApp service thrives, and then the FIFI participants can share the growth of the DApp tokens. So it becomes a really win-win token economy. Until now, although we have paid a fee with the main token like either, the DApp service had nothing to do with the fee. Main tokens were only used to pay fees for service that were not even relevant to the DApp service. However, in the protocol, DApp service and PEN are connected economically. It is designed to be a structure in which all participants in the ecosystem share the benefits if the either side produces result. And for DApp service operators, PEN holders become a potential DApp service users using DApp tokens. For example, when new DApp tokens are given to FIFI participants, chances are very high, they want to find out what kind of token it is. So they could search on the internet about the DF token, what kind of DF service they are providing, right? FIFI will actually provide uh, detailed information about uh, the DF, DF service. It will be given to you, so you could actually look it up, uh, the information that FIFI is providing. Uh, they could actually use those, it could be a chance for them to use actually the, those DF tokens and try the service. So in other words, the product and ecosystem pens are really a potential customers for the app services. So the app server providers uh, entering the product on, they can take pen holders as a potential marketing target. So it's automatically marketed. This helps automate making marketing of the app services. FIFI participants play a clear role in contributing in solving fee issues in the product and ecosystem. So we give them a membership rights and voting rights that govern the entire protocol networks. This is how a governance is organized with pen holders in protocol. In typical POS, the token economy consists of a structure in which monopolize the power, right? So in fact, token holders are often left out of the ecosystem because the power of the nodes is so strong 
the majority of the profits are just taken by the nods. However, Product and Ken construct a token economy centered on the pen holders. Not only for nodes operators, centered more on pen holders. So that was it for the first episode of Product Inside Protocon. Hope it will be a meaningful time for more people to get to know Protocon and to be more interested and look forward to the second video of the Inside Protocon. Uh, thank you for watching and have a good day. Protocon이 궁금하다면 좋아요, 구독, 알림 설정까지.